Time out, guys. Look over there. This is Ammonite. Ammonites are beak-like within a ring of tentacles that extend from their shells to ensnare prey such as small fish and crustaceans. Some ammonites grow to more than 3 feet or about 1 meter in diameter. Maybe this animal was a snack for giant ancient animals like the Mosasaur Tylosaurus. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs do not hesitate to change their shells if they feel that their size is not suitable. The hermit crab's body continues to grow. Like it or not, they have to look for a new shell. This shell has a vital role, namely protecting the abdomen, stomach, and keeping their body moist. The perfect shell for a hermit crab is one that keeps it safe from predators. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male puffer fish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The pectoral. This is dolphin. Apart from killing other animals to survive, Dolphins have mysterious killing motivations. Dolphins kill other mammals in droves, using their beaks as clubs, and slashing other animals with their rows of sharp teeth. While other animals kill to eat their prey, dolphins have a desire to kill that is unrelated to the need for food. This is Gurnard Fish. Currently there are many hobbyists who choose flying Gurnard Fish to fill their aquariums. Food that tends to be easy to care for also makes this fish relatively easy to care for. However, that doesn't mean there are no challenges at all in keeping Gurnard flying fish. With a maximum size of up to 50 centimeters. There is lobster. Hard shell lobsters have a thick, hard shell that provides excellent physical protection against predators. Their tough exoskeleton is difficult to penetrate. Self-defense mechanisms, lobsters are equipped with strong legs and sharp claws that can be used to fend off predator attacks. This is Mosasaurus. Even though it is quite long and heavy, who would have thought that Mosasaurus was included in the group of dinosaurs with slender bodies? Moreover, because its body shape is quite slender, Mosasaurus can swim very agile and also quite fast. There is an octopus. The largest octopuses in all the oceans are known to have no internal skeleton or shell. This is what makes octopuses have soft bodies and can help them move freely. The only hard part of an octopus's body is its beak. The octopus's beak is located at the bottom where the arms meet. There is a mouth bass. Grouper, Epinephalus lanceolatus, can be dangerous if you are near them in their natural environment, especially if you are not careful. They have large and powerful mouths with sharp teeth and can attack if they feel threatened or disturbed. So, it is important to be cautious if you are swimming or diving in their natural habitat. This is a blue spotted ray. Some species of blue-spotted rays have spiny protrusions on their dorsal surfaces, which can help protect them from predators by providing physical defense. Some ray species, including some blue-spotted rays, can generate electricity to defend themselves from predators or even to catch prey. Blue-spotted rays can swim swiftly to evade approaching predators. 
Wow, this is starfish. A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. This is Lemon Shark. The Lemon Shark, Megaprium brevirostris, is a fairly large type of shark that is distributed in two different oceans. When mature, both males and females can grow to around 2.4 to 3.1 meters and weigh around 100 kilograms. This is Blue Whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. There is a jellyfish. All types of jellyfish have nematocysts or stinging structures. However, the strength of their sting can vary greatly depending on the species. The most poisonous jellyfish in the world is a type of cubozoa which is capable of killing an adult human with one sting, in just a few minutes. They carry enough venom to kill more than 60 humans. There is a clownfish. Unlike most animal species, for clownfish looking after and caring for their young is not the mother's job, but the father's job. The main male not only fertilizes, but he even prepares a place for the female so she can lay her eggs safely. After that, the father will look after the eggs and clean the nest of dirt. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. This is squid. Squid are intelligent sea creatures. They have large and complex brains, even comparable to those of whales. The squid's ability to learn and adapt also impressed researchers. They are capable of completing complex tasks and even exhibit behavior that indicates extraordinary intelligence. This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. This is Gulper Eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. This is a moray eel. The most surprising thing is that moray eels apparently have two jaws, each equipped with two sets of very sharp teeth. The first jaw is located in the moray eel's mouth and the other jaw is located in the throat which functions to break down food which then enters the digestive system. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.